DJ MTV. Hey guys, welcome to DJ MTV Daily News Update. The WhatsApp channel for everything news and gist happening in Nigeria and all over the world. If this is your first time of seeing any of our video, please do not forget to take a step further, like, share, and comment on this video. Please do follow us on all our social media channels on Facebook, on YouTube, and also on Instagram. Also, check us out on our website www.tjmtv.news. Let's go straight up into the main news. <music> PDP zoning committee yet to conclude sitting, says Governor Otom. Plus, I will not resign as chairman of the PDP zoning committee, says Otom. Hey guys, this is still DJM TV Daily News update. The zoning committee of the People's Democratic Party PDP has failed to reach an agreement on the zoning arrangement for the party's presidential candidate. However, as a part of measures to successfully fulfill its mandate to zone the country's number one position devoid of sentiment, the 37-member committee has reassured members of the People's Democratic Party of its commitment to work with all regions in Nigeria to come up with a fair recommendation to all. The chairman, Zoni Committee, Governor Samuel Oton, gave this assurance after a section that lasted several hours at the Benue State as in Abuja. But in the video we're about to watch, we saw Governor Oton, the chairman of the Zoni Committee, who said the uncertain issues of zoning the presidential seat to a particular region of the country has become top on the list for our main opposition party, People's Democratic Party. The meeting was adjourned to next week, Tuesday. We have had our meeting and there was no form of tension. We have decided to adjourn the meeting till next week. We will continue our discussion. Let's watch the video and be right back. Yes, sir. Well, gentlemen, uh, we just out of uh, our meeting today, uh, the meeting is yet to be concluded. We have adjourned to next week, Tuesday, the same time and the same venue. So until we conclude the proceedings, uh, so far, but so far so good. All the members are quite understanding. There wasn't any form of tension. We all understand ourselves. I would know that zoning is very key, and we are looking at all the issues. But at the end, we want to ensure that we do something that everybody will accept, and we go ahead and win the election in 2023. Thank you. Welcome back, guys. This is still DJM TV Daily News update. Governor Otom also said we understand that zoning is very key, but we rest assured we'll come up with a decision that will be favorable and enable the People's Democratic Party to win the elections in 2023. We could recall that Senator Ayu, the People's Democratic National Chairman, has inaugurated the committee and gave them two weeks to submit their recommendation. This is still DGM TV Daily News Update. So if this is your first time of seeing any of our video, please do not forget to like, share and comment on all our videos. Please do follow us on all our social media platform on Facebook, on YouTube and also on Instagram. Also check us out on our website www.djmtv.news. Let's go back straight up into the main news. Meanwhile, ahead of the 2023 general election, the Benue State Governor Samuel Otom has said he has no reason to resign as the People's Democratic Party chairman of the zoning committee. Otom maintained his resolve to complete the assignment without blemish, saying, I have no reasons and plans to resign. The governor was reacting to a news item credited to the Iowa Youth Consultative Forum led by one Yerima Shetima, who has accused Governor Otom of compromising his position for receiving his river state counterpart, Governor Nissan Wiki, in Makodi, the Benue state capital. It was reported that 
Governor Wike was in Makodi on Sunday, 27th of March, where he had declared his presidential ambition to contest the 2023 presidential election. Shetima has alleged that the 200 million naira donated by Governor Wike to help rebuild the burnt casino Allah and high level Makodi market in Benue State was to compromise Governor Oto. But in a very swift reaction, Governor Otom has slammed Shetima for being insensitive to the plight of the distressed people of Benue State and wonder how a gesture to distressed people would compromise him. I am shocked that some people can be insensitive to the plight of others who are distressed. What my brother Governor Wiki did was identify with our pain and offer assistance to the best of his ability. I am first among equals and not a dictator to impose any idea on members of the People's Democratic Party Zoning Committee, who is said a distinguished Nigeria who have excelled in their career in life. So for anyone or group to come out to suggest that one man will impose his will on the other 36 member is insulting. Members of this committee will work out the best for this country and Nigeria will be better for the outcome of our national assignment, he stated. This is not the first time Wiki will donate money to Benue State. Wiki has been one of the people in this country who has contributed to the upkeep of the more than 1.5 million Benue people living in the IDPs. Wiki has also donated money to other states, including some in the north, that did not make news to these so-called Ariwa youth. Besides, he is not the first presidential aspirant to come to Benway to identify with our plight. Atiku Abubakar, the former vice president of Nigeria, was in Benway to consult with us a couple of weeks ago. He donated a sum of 50 million naira to the IDPs. Then Shetima and his Ariwa youth did not see anything wrong with that, and they did not ask me to resign. For the avoidance of doubt, we in Benway State have no hatred for any one group of persons. We will receive and accord due respect to any presidential aspirant who comes to consult with us over his or our political ambition, the governor maintained. So for this group to have said what they have said, it is very critical for this faceless group to twist the narrative of Governor Wiki's visit. It is unfair and uncharitable. We must be open to all we must be open to all to get the best out of many who have come out to rescue this country from the ministry that the All Progressive Congress government has put us into, the governor maintained. This is still DGM TV Daily News update. So guys, here we have it. We um, asked some few weeks ago that the Ariwa Youth Consultative Forum has asked Governor Otom to resign as the chairman of the zoning committee of the People's Democratic Party because uh, Governor Wiki visited and gave the IDPs 200 million naira, which made the RYU to feel that Governor Otom is collecting bribe to compromise the zoning process. But a lot of Nigerians have said that the uh, presidency is just living in the north and it cannot go back to the north. It should come to the south, whether the southwest, whether the southeast, and whether the south south. It should come to the south. So uh, a lot of Nigerians have said they don't see any compromise in what uh, the governor of Benue State, Samuel Otom, is doing. So guys, what do you think? Do you think that Samuel Otom is trying to compromise for collecting 200 million naira for the IDPs uh, camp that are in Benue State? Uh, not forgetting that uh, Atiku Abubakar, the former vice president, also gave 15 million. Can you also say that um, Governor Samuel Otom is um, compromising that too? Again, we saw that the committee has decided to adjourn till next week Tuesday to finalize where the zoning would go to, whether to the north or to the south. So guys, what do you think? Where would the People's Democratic Party zone its presidential candidacy to? Is it to the north or to the south? Drop your thoughts and comment with us in the comment section below. Thank you for watching till the end of this video and as a way of reminder, do not forget that we are also on Facebook and on YouTube at TJMTV. Please check us out on our website www.tjmtv.news. You can also place your advert with us at DJMTV and be rest assured that your business will get to the desired market. 
Until I come your way with another exciting edition of DJ MTV Daily News, thank you for watching.